not funny. But it's so hard I to make man to them laugh in general, though. Yeah, I mean. Because when I go to comedy club, man, them are like this. Yeah, mm. you think you can make me laugh, Paul? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They look at you like it's beef. So, but why are they doing there then? I hate yeah. people. Like I don't know. That's mm. what it is. A lot like of people that. don't. Do you know what I mean? It's like, like, let me see if you can make me laugh. Tough. Yeah, mm. what I mean, and they toughen up themselves mm. just to see if you can make them laugh. There's like, I don't well, know, it's The girl so dragged them there or something. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, they hear that there and make me laugh there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was bad Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy's a dickhead. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Talk, my girl yeah. told me he's funny, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not fight, like, yeah, he's crazy exactly. today. So I'll go there now and um, finally let me in. So there's the DJ box and, bruv, there's a little corner like that. Just cotch in the corner, a little <laughs> semicircle thing. The ceiling's open air ceiling. Yeah, there's was. no ceiling. You yeah, was there, yeah? yeah? So. Do you remember him on the stage? Go I on. don't. So. They, no, but I might have got there late. But I'm, yeah. So there was a girl named um, Tanya Moore. Denim. So Should Tanya Moore, she like was the host, yeah? Tanya Moore, do you know? So she done a little quick bit and then she brought me on. But these times I didn't know about shows and atmospheres. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. Bro, I couldn't hear myself because it was a DJ mic they gave me. So yeah. I'm trying to bust joke and it's just like... Mm. I'm talking to myself. Bruh. And you know, that's the, you die. I died on that stage. Mm -mm. And I had to stay there. I couldn't even go home because it's a games. weekender. What you say, you're still so a I'm rap. having to no, look at people. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's that fucking Yeah, yeah. it's the worst <laughs> thing ever. And people <laughs> are trying branches. to be nice to you. No, you was all right. <laughs> now I'm like, no. <laughs> like, don't, don't do that to yeah, me. Yeah, like, I know, that. yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's the worst feeling. So but I think it might have been worse for like you because you was up there. The crowd. I was up there. You know, because everybody else was in the club. Because I was there, you know. Yeah. But I don't even remember that all of that. It was a dead so end party. I think it might have been more because <laughs> you was there. You felt it more. Yeah, but they the, set me up to fail. Yeah. Do you, Do you get so? what I'm saying? Mm. I'm, I'm not saying they did it on purpose, but it was a blatant. You learn from it. Yeah. yeah so from now, it. whenever I go to a show, I'm like, what's the venue like? Mm. Yeah, it's paranoia that now. They, that they put that might have been the first one. You know, sometimes you learn. Maybe they didn't even know that with comedy you have to have like. But a the worst thing is, is when you won and do you know when you what I mean? But you know yeah. what it is? The worst that. thing is they didn't even look after me for the whole journey. They didn't even say one girl was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna make sure we, we look after you. We know we've done bad by you because we ain't brought you in on." And then she she gave me one bottle of sh like drink of champagne and then I didn't see it for the rest of the thing. Man, I didn't even give you the beat. Okay. <laughs> oh <my laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even got a lot of that. Cool, yeah. And even the comedians that were there at the what, time. Turn out, you know. Even the comedians that were there at the time, they didn't even look after me. So I was just basically by myself. By yourself. Yeah. So that was the first experience. But you looked after them. Huh? <coughs> they used to like it when, they been, do you feel like when that's the first went, time do you feel like because your show didn't go good it's like they didn't even like no didn't I just feel like they that. were just for themselves mm. at the time they didn't even say like if I knew our new comedians coming in somewhere I know naturally I got emotional intelligence in a weird way so I'm like yo alright come roll with us uh, you, you, you eating come Would out to eat some food with enough. us no no it's not even that it wasn't even that they just didn't they Who were just all for themselves they were all for themselves out there. So they didn't even look after me. No one looked after me. So I said to myself, you know what? After this, it was a good lesson yeah, because now I know man can't tell me about a venue and it's like that. And then I'm going to go to that. Do you get what I'm saying? I don't care how much money you're offering me. I'm not setting myself up to look shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, so Not caring how much money is mad. Yeah, because venue, ven no. <laughs> That's mad. Not caring how much money is mad. But your reputation. <laughs> like, if you the didn't, rap piece, the I'll rap piece. Yeah. The yeah. reputation that, like, the, your yeah. reputation that state. Do you think that, that if you'd done that show to m today, it would have been different? It would have been a bit different. So therefore, then, do you reckon that maybe you just wasn't ready? I wasn't ready. A hundred percent. So it's I wasn't not all ready. their fault then. You gotta say that because it it he ain't when you're that. given your it people are no 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 because I just said to him if you did it now experience you said what you said no listen their fault. <laughs> that's it no 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 it's not that nothing to do with that their fault high ceiling bare other I heard everything no it was open air <laughs> heard it was an open heard air heard club. Everything he said. what I'm saying fault. is they didn't I've look after him I heard everything. I'm actually listening. He said, they I'm talking about him. him as a The person. woman only gave him a fucking... I know, show. but listen you know to this. I mean? that look At the end of the day, That's when you're mean. giving your five minutes, How's you know that? what they say in it. You make the most of what you're Mate, giving. I could hear that. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sometimes... No, Eminem. but I'm just <laughs> yeah. saying, like, sometimes it's not about the surroundings. No, you go there and you show out. No. If you're funny, you could have connected with one person. I'm just saying... because it's a denim party. I just said to him... It's a fucking denim party. I know it is. No, I... 
high class well, as well. But I just comedy. said to him, if he done it now, if you done it now, if it was a comedy show and he came and flopped, but if you did it now, do you think that it would be different? Do you reckon you'd have handled it different? I would have handled it different, but I'm not saying I would have got a great reception because, like he said, yeah, yeah like Spray said. It was a part. They didn't come for comedy. Comedy, said, yeah. Yo, don't bring me right yeah, it's like, music. hold on. I'm not here for that. They just wanted to hear music <laughs> and, yeah, and, and sure why not? It was a rave. Yeah, that's it. See exactly. what I mean? So, dead and You're not coming to hear comedy. All those so, can't believe you're not hearing music. Sometimes it don't matter how much experience you get. That all I could have done in that, um, situation. all I could have done in that situation, which I thought about was just make it a music thing because I know that they're about music. So I could have said, yo, if you did do this or listen to this track, you see what I mean? Comedy I couldn't have music. made it comedy though. Like m I would have just had to make it more entertainment rather than comedy. And that's where, like you said, experience, but it still wouldn't have been a great show because the atmosphere and the mic wasn't good because the comedians before me- will start roasting, do you know what I mean? But even Someone. roasting, you can't even roast certain times because yeah. Like, if you're roasting a girl and she's out with her friends, you think they're going to have it. Her brethren. <laughs> you get what I mean? Like, when you're... Her, that's man, why man. you have to be careful how you're yeah. roasting oh, girls. He's already vexed. Yeah. He's because, already vexed his yeah. hair. And you're trying to do yeah. spotlights on us? Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> girls, Baiting up his girls' butters. Girls girl roll together matter. like a wolf pack, blood. Mm. You can't test a girl only unless she's running her mouth up to you. Then the crowd will join in with you. But you right, see, as a I group, yeah. like, you What's can't diss a girl. You get what I'm saying? So that's what and I mean. Just the man them. What's the most? Um, <laughs> I can't and even it. them man there, you can't because it was man them in there. It was a really tight. Thing. Yeah, and they were they were in a rave for gal. You think I could diss a man in yeah, a rave yeah, for gal? Nah, bro, they're yeah. catching me outside. Yeah. <laughs> it's not it's gonna not happen. What subjects do you think you. has the crowd like going the most? What do they it like to hear? It about? depends on what crowd you're in. Okay. So like, if I'm in a in a black crowd, yeah, I go to the theme. I stick to the theme. A lot of comedians don't stick to the theme. Right. Like, if there's a show where it's Africa versus Jamaica, this is Africa versus Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I am going in to rinse your country. Mm. You see what I mean? Blind. And I the thing he is, killed, he killed that. I didn't that rinse one, Africa in general. Mm. It was just Nigerians and Somalians yeah. I started on, and I went in on them because mm. the rest <laughs> of Africa had to big up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I still need some of Africa on my yeah, side. Yeah, you see what I mean? So yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, psychological. Yeah, do you get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, yeah, big up Ghana. They were like, yeah, big up Congo. But the only problem I got is with. The Nigerians and, yeah. and yeah, I'm saying, and then Nigeria. I just went in on them. Mm -hmm. And what that's you said about them. Mm. <laughs> I know I'm going mad. <laughs> I need to. Touch your biggest joke. I, I, I basically to. touched on the um, the history mm. of you know how we had style and music mm -hmm. and what they came with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you what get what I'm saying? With? So, like, I played the tunes that Jamaicans had back in the 90s. Oh, I and I said, and all of that time, Africans were listening to